Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. We are backstage at Slam Dunk Festival 2024 as December Falls on the lineup, and they join me now. How are we, everybody? We good? We're good. I think we're more than good, aren't we? Yeah. We are fabulous. We're amazing. Yeah. Like to hear that. <laughs> well, I mean, the sun's come out, so that's a start. But yeah, how was Hatfield yesterday? Seemed like, you know, on the main stage, it's pretty exciting, right? Yeah. It yeah. feels like a really big step for us, doesn't it? Main stage Slam Dunk, like, We've been coming here since we were 14, 15, so to actually be main stage slam dunk, it. it is a big fucking deal for us. Yeah, not not even like just that, but like back in 2018, slam dunk was our first ever festival that we played as a band. Oh, wow. We won the rock sound competition to open the Birmingham, there it is. The, back when Midlands was a thing. Yeah, so I remember we, that. We opened that Denver stage. Days. That was our first ever festival. A few years later, back in 22, we came back, did the Key Club stage quite high on the bill, which was amazing. And then to come back two years later, after, you know, uh, number one rock album to be on main stage, it's, in, yeah. It's I like remember those breakout stage nuts. days. I had not realized that was like your first ever festival. That, that was our really, first really ever cool. festival. Because of course yeah. it would be now I think about it, but that's really, really cool. I we were a little that. baby band. To be back. Oh, for a baby band to the main stage, that's yeah, what we like. Literally, baby band to main stage. That's good, that's the journey. That's the biography title one day. That's what we like. Um, congrats on the album again. Everything obviously been out for a minute now, but like since the last time I saw you all came out, really great success. Lovely to see reaction for that. I'm curious now that it's been out for a little minute and you've presumably put like a few more of those songs into the set list and all that kind of thing. What's been surprising you about those newer songs and actually getting to play them live and get them in front of the crowd? I think for me it's how loud Timmy is on Little by Little. When he's, <laughs> so before every chorus on Little by Little, there's like quite, it's not like a huge like rock song, it's a little bit more like a bit poppy. Timmy screams jump, jump, jump. And every video I've ever seen of anyone recording our set, he is louder than the PA yeah. and he that. doesn't have a mic. I love that. Yeah, it was like a little like improvised moment on a tour that we did like when we first put out a record and like that's my favorite thing i mean it's a jumpy song so like yeah, yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. the crowd gotta know they gotta know when yeah. to jump yeah yeah, yeah. You got, sometimes you gotta let them know that's yeah. it absolutely yeah. I, I, yeah i don't have a mic so i'm just like i'm just gonna scream it as loud as i possibly can <laughs> like and if you can hear me just fucking get involved you know yeah 100 well there's lots of big plans kind of coming up later this year i know i mean i can't Remind me, if this hasn't been announced yet, just tell me. But like, live album and all that kind of stuff, that's yeah. coming. Yeah. That's very cool. I mean, again, that's like, you know, we talk about bucket list moments like doing main stage and festival and stuff. Doing a live album is a pretty cool moment to do something like that, isn't it? it yeah, you must be excited. It feels cool, doesn't it? It does feel like. very cool. Like, I literally grew up, like, listening to live albums like Biffy Clyro at Wembley. Oh, Guns oh that's a good one. Yeah. Incredible. Like, Guns N' Roses, like, You Me at Six, again at Wembley. Like, everyone does Wembley. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I grew up loving live albums. Like, I, I really, really like you know, love studio records, but like live is just more raw, yeah. it's more authentic. So like being able to do our own live record is amazing. Like yeah. I'm so stoked about it. I think for me, I like the live album, well, obviously I like the live album because Join the Club tour for us was such, I felt a very pivotal moment yeah. of like our career with As December Falls because it was such a huge tour and like Join the Club like, I know about you guys, it's definitely my favorite As December Falls album. It's the one that I, I'm so proud of that record. Yeah. So I'm so excited to have this live version of it that we can keep as just a core memory forever and ever. Like it's, it's cool as heck. Yeah, no, it's really, really nice. I mean, it's so appropriate as well because you guys are very, you've been very forward thinking in how you build that fan community and put in those fans first and all that stuff. I mean, it was in the title of the album, for God's sake, Join the Club, right? That's all gonna mean about it. But like to then be able to do a live album, it's like, I mean, your fans are basically featured on it in a way. You'll be able yeah. to hear them. It's quite nice. It's just another way to, to kind of put them front and center, I guess, in that way. The yeah. only, like, literally, the only reason we actually decided to make a live album is because we've had so many requests for it. Oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. So like, we've had so many people saying, either I've got health issues or I'm too far away. I can't make a show. You know, you're not touring the US yeah. yet. And I really want to hear, like, you know, experience that live element without being actually able to make a show. Um, and then we've had so many people saying, look, I just want a fucking live album to relive the shows I have gone to. Yeah. So that's really the reason why we yeah. did it. And, um, you know, I, I don't really know many bands doing live records these, di these days. Like yeah. when we, you know, planned it, it cost a lot of money to record, to get mixed, to get mastered. We were panicking. We're like, I don't know if anyone buys live albums anymore. And like literally within yeah. four hours, we had already broken even, like Amazing. on yeah. all costs, yeah. Yeah. which is insane. Yeah. And it's just a testament to how great that our fan base is. I think it was a case of 
we knew we'd have to get a lot of vinyls and a lot of CDs, but as soon as the order started coming in, we were like, I think we're gonna have to double the order, like that's coming great. through. Oh, like, that's yeah. so nice to see. Yeah. No, a testament as well to that DIY spirit you guys have, which I just think is so, so great. So love to see that film. Um, I'll do the new music question, shall I? What are we working on? What are we cooking up? <laughs> you can just tell me as much as you want to or as much as you don't want to. What are we thinking? Uh, I have already revealed this and ruined this to the world. Quite, quite a few times already. So we are actually in the middle of writing album number four. Great. Um, yeah. And when we say, I think we're not committing to it because we're writing is maybe a little bit more casual this time because we're just writing as much as possible. And some stuff is very different for us. December falls, which is why we're like we're not sure if it's going to go on the album. So we're just trying to get as much out of our system as possible. Just use the creative process. Trust it. Um, see what happens and then from there we'll do, yeah. s do some picking and choosing won't we yeah I feel like we're like we're taking these like concepts and ideas and we're pushing them way 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 beyond anything you'd ever expect yeah. from our band that's great and then working out right do we need to bring them back a little bit like actually can we push more and like just really kind of experimenting and we kind of got like it's the first time we've had the time to really kind of like sit and go through that process um, so it's really exciting, it's really fun. Um, I say it's really relaxed, there's going to be a point <laughs> when it's not relaxed, but right relaxed now we're in that honeymoon now. phase of it, <laughs> where it's yeah. like, here's an idea, and it's just, there's no pressure, you know? But It's, it, it's going to be like, maybe a month before studio kicks in, but we'll all start panicking, like, oh my god, we don't have the songs, we need to go now, now, now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this process as well, because like, the last album, we didn't really have a producer in mind when we were writing the songs. So a lot of the tracks were already written when we found Alex, who ended up producing the last album. Yeah. Um, whereas this time, we knew that we wanted to work with Alex again. He smashed the last record. So actually having him from day one, like, we will send him scratch demos and he'll, like, get the stems and just turn it, even our terrible home recordings. It's, like, this yeah. incredible thing that, like, we hadn't even envisioned yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just breathes so much more life into like the writing process. That's amazing. I think he's even He's basically our fifth member now. He has received a number of terrible voice recordings, like on voice notes from me, and I'm like, I wanna do this, but I don't know how this fits with this. And he's yeah. like, leave it, leave it with me, I'll have a look. Yeah. Like, well yeah, that's all the bonus tracks sorted now for a deluxe <laughs> yeah. edition. There we go. Yeah. The voice note recordings Shout is what we all want to hear. Alex Cop. Yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> that. I love that man. Um, here's a question we've been asking absolutely everybody this weekend. I kind of go to festival question, but it's slam dunk, stacked lineup. You know it always is. So, anyone out there this weekend that you haven't toured with before, haven't collaborated with or anything like that, that you would love to either hop on a song, hop on a tour? Well, Yumi at six and Mallory Knox have literally just both announced tours. So. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just saying. Shooting his shot. He's I'm shooting his saying. shot. I'm just saying. Get like, it out there. Yeah. Positive There's your Wembley moment. Yeah. There you the go. Yeah. <laughs> there I, I would do literally anything with all Nia's. Yeah. Oh, like, nice. like honestly, I don't even want to play. It's fine. I'll do guitar tech. If you guys are looking for a guitar tech, like, you know, yeah, I'll go do that. Know. Like, I love that band so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are the best. They are They're the, best. the nicest guys as well. Like, yeah. Casey's a great friend. Like, he's a good dude. Um, I mean, other people that we would work I with, think, so many on this lineup. I think, I think for me, I would absolutely love to do anything with Against the Current. Yes. Yes. Oh they God. have been yes. such a huge influence for me. Yeah. Um, and I remember seeing them when they played um, uh, Uproar in oh, Birmingham. Right. It was like a little baby show. It was yeah. so cute. And now to see, like, to That's have them awesome. over yeah. here, like, it's so fucking yeah. cool. And yeah, I, I would love to do something with Chrissy. I think that would be really yeah. cool. What about, what about you? Um, I love stage champs, so you know, I would 100% love to do a song with stage champs. Um, yeah, again, Taylor Raycorn as well. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. love her, so it's yeah. Small, but there's no wrong answers. You're yeah. spoiled yeah. the choice yeah. here. Yeah. Just, just spoiled anyone, the anyone. This is, the, this is the problem with this year's lineup. Like, we could literally just put up the poster and go, anyone here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this lineup is just nuts. Like, this, the this, best this, problem this is for any festival. Cool. Yeah. Let's just cast the net, see Honey, what goes. Honey Revenge. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. So many, so many incredible bands. I think that's Super what cool. makes Slam Dunk such a special festival yeah. for us, yeah. though. It's like, we genuinely love every band on the lineup that's right. every single year, and we would work with any of them, we would tour with any of them. Like, you meet the Dangerous most, Summer. Yeah, Dangerous yeah. Summer. Love, like, yeah. you just meet the most amazing people, yeah. and it, it's such an amazing experience to get to watch them play, like, collaborate with them, get to know them, chat to them. Like, 
It's just, it's just good vibes. You know, yeah, a lot of people call vibes. it like mates fest, and it yeah. really is just like no, I fully get that. Massive festival yeah. where you just hang out with mates and make friends. Just yeah. nice to have something over here that properly celebrates the Seam World Bar but that way. It's really, really nice. It's good to see it all kind of develop. I'm going to let you guys go enjoy the rest of your weekend, but it's always such a pleasure to catch up. We will catch up again soon, I'm very sure. Big, busy year for you guys, so it's all good to see you. But yeah, great to chance, guys. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you for having us again. Always. <laughs> That's December Falls, everybody.